What's up everybody? Good morning and a happy December 28th. I hope all of you had a great Christmas. All of you um, spent a great long time with your family, your friends, um, just whoever you spent time with. Um, I hope that you guys had a great day, a great time. Um, number two, today I'm just going to be talking about stepping out of your box, you know, how I stepped out of my box to do this stuff, how I stepped out of my box to do photography, and then just like throughout the day, you know. Today I've got a busy day, just took my dad to work, it's uh, 9 o'clock and um, I'm heading to a shoot. I'm shooting with uh, the, our video production club from school, so we're doing, we're trying to have fun and make a music video, so it should be fun and we'll, you're going to come along with us, so let's go. I was late until I go 80, 85 on the highway, so we're here. So let's film. I'm here with my friend Nick. We're gonna be playing today. I'm the pastor. What are you again? Uh, I'm Drew, I believe. Even though we never say my name. Sweet. That's, that's my favorite name. Sweet. And we're about to change into our stuff. I forgot my shoes. So, you forgot your shoes? I forgot my shoes. <laughs> I'm wearing the dunks, I guess, for my wedding. Only a swag master wears dunks for his wedding. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I go from jeans, boots, and a sweatshirt to a nice suit, so I'm sure you guys are tricked. Ready? One, two. See? Southern pastor with jeans, loafers, blazer, shirt, and tie. Just finished filming the first scene, the uh, church scene with, you know, I don't even remember what song that we're doing, but all I know is that we're in beautiful church. Best sanctuary I have seen in a while. Oh no. Okay, I hate clowns. And we're filming at this house. I'm really sorry. And look at this. There's a lot of clowns. Here. There's a lot of clowns. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Look at this. Oh no. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. <laughs> And granted, it's not, it's not all about stepping out of your comfort zone to do an art talent or a sport or um, something that might be a little hard. Um, in my own life, an, one thing that I would say stepping out of my comfort zone would be taking a step in faith in God. And so my faith background and my, my story, as you would say, um, is not extravagant, but you know, I, I love to tell it. 
because it was such a jump and such a like come out of your shell moment for me that just changed my life forever for the good and you know just taking a step in faith and um thinking outside the box and doing it was just incredible and um get out of your comfort zone just do things that you don't normally do um whether it be with your, your art talents whether it be with you know your faith whether it be athletics sports whatever you know step out you know do things that do things that you have always dreamed of doing and whether it be a job as well i always i i worked at mcdonald's over the summer and that was a a, a terrible job and i worked there for one reason and that was to build up my confidence to do my dream because if i start out working in like such like a, something that i love doing it's just going to get old and i won't have anything to look forward to or to um or to dream about and working in an awful restaurant with awful managers and awful people that come in and treat you just like crap every day you know it it makes me appreciate more of the stuff that i love to do and it makes me strive to get a bigger goal to you know become a photographer become a cinematographer you know youtube works out <laughs> it'll work out but um, that's that's basically what I'm talking about. Stepping out of your comfort zone, just doing stuff that you just don't normally do. Back from the doctor's office, back in my humble abode, to where I will change, shower, and get ready to go to Winterfest with my girlfriend tonight. So you'll meet her, I promise. So let me get this hair off the mic. So let's go. Hey puppies, did you miss me? Yeah? Did you miss me, Bailey? What about you? Did you miss me? Yeah. Come here. Where's Tootsie at? Huh? Yeah, you don't know. Here we go. Got a shower. Got a change. And I'm going to do it right Cool. I was literally home to just shower, change, eat like granola bar and then I'm back out so picking up my dad picking up Jenny you'll meet her for the first time and off to Winterfest we go so let's ride <laughs> Got the passes? <laughs> there we go. All right, now let's go to Winterfest. <laughs> well, we had to come back to Jenny's house. <laughs> we get all the way to Kings Island and she left the passes. So, another hour round trip. So, let's go, I guess. Three hours later. What's up, guys? I'm finally back in my humble abode for the night <laughs> and it's 11:30, and it has been a very long day but besides the point um getting out of your comfort zone coming out of your shell coming out of your box as you would say i've got four tips to um help get out of your guys comfort zone number one think confident act confident when you think good thoughts, good thoughts are going to come psychologically when you're down or when you're upset and you smile, you, you become happy. So you think confident, you become confident. And that just becomes a mindset that you have to be throughout, throughout life when you want to um, do something that you don't normally do is to think confident, act confident, and be confident. Number two, 
throw yourself into things that you aren't comfortable with. I mean, it's a, it's as simple as that. It's it's easier said than done, but you when you see an opportunity that you don't normally do, you throw yourself into it. And number three, definitely have friends and family on your side. If if your friends and family aren't on your side, then they're not true friends, and then they I don't know what your family would do. I guess then they just don't like you. <laughs> just kidding. But have have family and friends on your side. You know, I have a bunch of friends that um, I asked, and you, even in the last video I was on the phone with my friend Andrew. You know, um, have friends on your side that will support you through things that when you don't think you can do it, that they'll push you to. And last but not least, number four, let everything fall into place it's not going to work out the first time. Photography for me did not work out the first time. Here are some examples of my first pictures. As you can see, it did not work out the first time. But here are some examples of pictures that I have now. confident act confident two throw yourself into situations that you might not normally throw yourself into three have your family and friends by your side and to be with you wherever you go and number four be patient and let everything fall right into place because god's got a plan for each and every one of you whatever dream that you're trying to chase after you follow god's got it in his hand that is really it for me today guys it is 11:35 and I am dead tired. So, like, subscribe. Um, my link for my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, my photography website is down below. The gear that I use, links down below from Amazon. And <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Peace.